I'm joined with Miss Fiji is on the air yep, right now. Yep, yep. How's it going? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show on the eve of oh. Mother's Day. Thank you for being on. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So, so, so every now and then, you know, I like to interview locals, especially, you know, in Kentucky. I live in Lexington. I mm-hmm. have supported local music for over two years now, and awesome. I don't get a chance to go to Louisville that much to see what's going on, but I've heard so many <laughs> great things about it. Um, for you, Fiji, uh, what made you decide to to be a look uh, to be a recording artist? How did this start it off for you? Actually, it was kind of a, uh, like a accidentally fell into it. Um, my little brother. Uh, is a is a rapper. He raps and he used to come and hang out with me and ask me to record a hook for him and I did and then it went from a hook to a verse to a whole song to I just hook and I could sing any music. I mean I sing in church all my life, but it just it became something that I couldn't stop. It was awesome. Mm, so you you call it an accident, huh? Uh, yeah, definitely definitely accidental. Yeah. I, I you know, I wasn't like a kid, like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, grow up and make music. No, <laughs> I had no plan at all to start any kind of musical career. And it just happened. And not, I, I've always had a passion for it. I've never had any intentions of making it myself. Oh, okay. I got you. You know, I, you know, I guess we'll like to call that a blessing in disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like maybe I, it was my calling. I was kind of running something, I guess. Cause yeah. like I said, I grew up in church and I sang in church, and I, I kind of got jaded from the music. It was just it wasn't anymore. It became like and had my freedom to do what I wanted to. It was like the passion was ignited, and I couldn't stop, and I haven't stopped since. Good for you. Good for you. And you know, from the music that I hear from you. I definitely like it. You know, you you sing, Thank you. you rap, and uh, yeah. you know, and, it's, and, it, and it feels like that's become a thing nowadays. It's like some people are singers, yeah. some people can rap, but now more than ever, there's people that's trying to do both. And yeah, to, and to, yeah. And to it's, your credit, you you do both very well. Thank you, thank you very much. So I enjoy it. I can't, I can't call myself just a rapper or more of a rapper or more of a singer is equally balanced because being able to express freely, I'm able to do that on both sides. Um, um, it works. It works. Well. So who do you consider like musical influence? It could be anyone mainstream local in particular that. Um, well, my influence musically started in church. So my pastor's wife, my uh, the first people that I heard, like, oh, my goodness. But as far as mainstream goes, it goes, you know, Al Green, Luther, Evangel, and, um, you know, rappers like Jay-Z, Biggie, Pac, um, Nas, Jada Kiss. Um, I'm, I, I kind of get inspiration or, I guess, influence from all of the great because that's what I listen to. I can't listen to something that doesn't inspire me. I don't care if, you know, everybody else doesn't like it, but if it doesn't inspire me, for any kind of reason, I, I can't listen to it. So it's kind of always been my thing. So more so influenced by the greats. <laughs> I hear you. And, you know, that's um, everybody wants to look at those who, you know, lay the foundation, those who, you know, was on the, oh, on, yeah. the on that grand stage and and succeeded very well, um, and so when you are inspired by those people, that's like you know what, I, I like what they're doing, I like what they bring to the table, and I, and I see why they were successful, you know, hard work and dedication, <laughs> countless hours in the studio, things like that. So you know, and I, I've been a fan. Of all types of music at this point in my life, like I'm, uh-huh. I'm willing to listen to just anything. I've interviewed all types of artists, from yeah. hip hop to R&B to country to rock to mm-hmm. rock to 
I even need to be yeah. Americana type of artist too. That's so right, that's it's, right. it's uh, I guess I'm I'm a versatile type of dude. Um, I mean, music is universal. It yeah. makes you feel good, and it doesn't matter what genre it's in. Yeah. You know, very, you very shouldn't true. be confined to those. I'm not. Very, yeah. very true. And of course, you know, me coming from a church family, you know, I listen to some mm-hmm. gospel. You know, I listen to some. Yeah, yeah. And gotta listen to some Surly Caesar. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and she had me rolling. Well, it wasn't necessarily her. It was whoever edited that whole greens, beans, potato, potato. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I never, I didn't hear until like later. But yeah, yeah, I heard that. yeah, that was. Uh, I, I want to say whoever did that, thank you, because we finally Thanksgiving got a, I guess a theme song. A theme song. <laughs> yeah. Because. Cause you know Christmas, they got like a hundred thousand Christmas themes. Oh songs yeah, in you got a, you got the many sides, you got more sides than you got room. Yeah, so. Like, um, and I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> very, very true. Now you live in Louisville, and I've mm-hmm. I've interviewed a couple of artists from Louisville, and I, I and I like the variety of artists that's out there in Louisville. Oh yeah, um, uh, I've got a lot of favorites. So a lot of favorites. You being, you live in there, you perform there, and you go to shows as a fan. Like, how would you best describe uh, the Louisville music scene as far as artists that you've seen that you are fans of? Um, well, the the scene itself is scattered. I think there should be more unity um, considering how much talent is in the city. I mean, Louisville is completely chopped full of talent. Uh, but it's it's the 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 scene is scattered. There's many places to go, and people you know scattered around as far as those are concerned. That it's not enough unity to get a, you know collective crowds to have nice shows for artists because we deserve that. The music that's being pushed out of the city deserves a full, fully attentive crowd. Um, but as far as the artists go, I'm I'm completely in love with the music scene because. Like you said, there is such variety, and there are so many different artists, and they're so good. It's not just mediocre music. I mean, of course, you've got, you know, you've got your, you know, okay, that's all right type of music, but it, even still, it, you, you enjoy it because of someone from your hometown or whatever. But, I mean, there's so much awesome music, really awesome music here, um, awesome artists here. And I, every time I go to a show, I see something new, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, I've got to work with you. Like, you're it's just amazing, you know, and it's. And it's, it's humbling, and it keeps, at least me, for me anyway, it keeps you from feeling like, you know, you need to be anything because it's not just about, you know, being talented. You need to work with people and make better music and make, you know, get a bigger spectrum of, of, of fans or whatever. So it's, it's awesome. I love this thing. And I, and I hear so much. Like, I can talk about it. I got to I heard that popping. Like, wow, you think? Being from here, you're like, little old Louisville, you want to come here? But it is. It really is. It's an amazing thing. I'm blessed and, and, and proud to be a part of it, even though I'm late. I'm kind of late, but it's okay. I mean, if you if you haven't been to Louisville before, uh, it's definitely one of those places to, to check out. There's a lot going on there. Um, you know, I, I live in Lexington. That's like yeah. an hour plus drive. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I envy Louisville, not just the local apps that I love, but y'all get a lot of big name artists that performs there, other than Lexington. Yeah, yeah. Like J. Cole yeah. was there recently. Lil Wayne was He'll there recently. And yeah. uh, Bruno Mars, which is one of my yeah. favorite artists right now. He's performing. Yeah, he'll yeah he'll be here. I can't wait. So, that. I I got the opportunity uh, thanks to my sis, who's also a, a phenomenal FMC TRP. Uh, she's dope, you know. Check her out, TRP. Um, she uh she is blessed with the opportunity to open for me, and and I was like, goodness gracious, you know, this is Dick Crit we talking about here. This is super bars, <laughs> but yeah. So it's we get a lot of we get a lot of of, of, of great acts. Um, you know, mainstream artists that come in here. I think it's cool. But, I mean, it took us a while, though. You know, don't, like, don't completely envy us. It took us a while to get there because, you know, people overlook Louisville. Like, eh, you know, it's just Louisville. 
But really, now that they tap into it, we got Bryson Tillard. You know, he 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 paid the way for us to to get our to get our shine on, and it's like people see now, like yeah, you need to come to Louisville. <laughs> Bring your butt to Louisville because you're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna come here. You're gonna get a dope show. You're gonna get a dope crowd, and you know, I that's it. I definitely have become a fan of Bryson Tiller um, yeah. for quite some time. And mm-hmm. when I first heard him, I'm like, okay, he's he's pretty, he's nice. But then yeah, when I yeah, hear, yeah. But when I hear he's from Kentucky, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like, yeah. where have I been these past few years? I've been, I, li- I listened to local music and I didn't hear too much about him. I guess it's that whole. I didn't either. You know, I guess it was I, with me with Lexington and I didn't. I don't get to hear too much of Louisville, but he's yeah, he's definitely yeah. making strides and uh and I mean I'm from I'm from here and I literally never heard of him until like well as soon as he came like a week later saying this. I was like, Well, I didn't know who he was. I was going there, I would have made a song with him, but he's nice. <laughs> he's, he's a nice or like really nice. He's really dope. I um I'm very proud uh, that you know, Louisville is on the map for something good. Because you know we first forty eight favorite place and we're nuts, but you know it's, it's his music is great and um, and then he definitely reps us. So you know it's something to to look up for. You know it's like well, it's overlooked anymore. You can actually do something. Like you can actually get there. You got to put your put your whole back into it and work your butt off. But you can do it. So I mean if that's what you're striving to do, to be you know on that scale. That's very, very true. As we get into the summer season, we're about uh-huh. by next month or so. Uh, what do you have in store in the coming months? New music, upcoming shows, anything particular? Oh my gosh, I um, I'm working on an EP and the mixtape. Uh, so hopefully the mixtape will be done right right when the the heat of the summer hits and uh. The EP probably won't be done until around November. I'm taking my time with that. This is my first, my first EP. I've got four mixtapes, but that's my first EP. Um, no one to be right. But uh, so I'm working on those. Um, actually, just started this plus size modeling for um, the uh, Dream Boutique. It's in Indiana, 37 Bank Street, um, in Indiana. I think that's uh, Clarksville or New Albany, Indiana. And uh, so I'm, I'm modeling for them now so and if i can just do a shame bug go to the dream boutique 37th street and say give them the uh promo code dream and get five percent from plus size they have you know regular sizes too and everything but i'm doing that and uh working on a a, a show of my own actually putting together a show of my own with a live band and a, and a grown and sexy performance i don't want to say too much i don't want to give up too much information yeah, that's going to be really nice. So I'm working on a lot of things, got my hands in a lot of things. It'll all come together, you know, in the end. And I'm, just, I'm asking people just to stay tuned, keep listening. I got plenty of music on SoundCloud and, and plenty of CDs to, you know, for, for sale and whatnot so I can, you know, keep it moving until the new stuff comes. But, yeah, a lot of stuff working. After what I've already heard from from the SoundCloud so far. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some more. I want to thank you for uh-huh. being on the show. Continue your success. And mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to the new music. Thank you. Oh, of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You have a great night. Have a great weekend. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye.